doing a tutorial on how to make a beer box cowboy hat. Had enough people ask me how to make these. Fantastic tailgate item. Decorated appropriately for your favorite team. Um, a lot of fun, easy to do. I'm going to show you how to make it happen. All right, so first thing you need, there's a lot of the tutorials out there. Say you need an 18 and a 12 pack. Scratch that, it's all wrong. Gonna do it right today. Um, you need a 24 pack, your favorite beer. Box, can, no bottles, and a 12 pack. This is gonna become the top of your hat. This is going to be the brim. So I'm going to break it down for you. Take it step by step. First one, just break down your 24 pack. Flip the box down. Take it off the seams. Be careful not to mess up your beautiful packaging. Like so. You got it opened up. And you're going to fold it back out flat. Match your handles up. So it's nice and even. And an easy way to do that, just match up the holes here. And then flatten it out. Right down the middle like so. Alright. That's your base, starting with the brim. Alright, move on to the top of the hat. I grab my scissors here. Now actually, you've got a 12 pack. 718, so this is going to be a little bit short. You want the 18 pack, reason being the end of the box is a little bit longer, so your hat's not too short, then squashing your head a little more comfortable. But since we've got a pearl back here, we're going to make do. And you're going to start cutting the top of the box where the handle ends, so you have as much hat area as possible. And we're just going to cut it like so. skip a quick step here, but uh, what we like to do, if we've done this ahead of time, is take a piece of the box that you're not going to use, just a flat from the other end, go ahead and take a little super glue, seal that up on the end, keeps it nice and sturdy, you don't have a hole in the top of your hand. Uh, also what I do is take a little super glue on the edge of your box here to make sure it doesn't open up, because there's really hardly any glue of these when you get them from the store. So that's ready. Alright, next step. Pre made a template that's roughly the size of your beer box hat, the top of your hat. Uh, shorten it down a little bit so it fits snugly on the front and the back of your head. Wide it out a little bit so that the box top will actually fit in the hole. And so, we've already pre done this, so you guys just have to have fun figuring that one out on your own. Uh, what you want to do is approximate the middle of your hat, put your template down, make sure you got it nice and even, and take the pen that I don't have. And you're going to trace a circle around that hole, cut through both sides of the cardboard. All right. Get the pencil real quick. Trace that around. do is I'll open it up, do one side at a time, just to make sure I don't mess it up here. Take my X-Acto knife and just follow the line around. Now, you want to use an X-Acto knife or a razor blade on this if you can. The scissors are going to chew up your hat a little bit, the cardboard. And we want a nice, clean fit and finish. So use the X-Acto knife. And again, just to make sure everything lines up nice and neat, it's perfect, looks real clean. 
fold that hole back over and I'll trace it on the inside of the bottom of the hat. Alright, make that cut. Good to go. Nice and even. We can go ahead and split our box in half. Uh, so you can uh, use your scissors on this one. Don't worry about this cut being a little bit rough because you end up trimming the very edges of this hat at the end of the process anyway. Go ahead and cut it straight down the middle of your fold. So, and these two halves are going to make your, the brim of your hat, top and bottom, going to fit like so. Now it's going to be a little big at this point, a little loose, that's fine. You can adjust it now before you want to do that and move to the next step. Just to get your hat ready, the top, and again, using a 12 pack here so it's going to look a little low, uh, typically use an 18, but we're going to do the best we can with what we got. Now what you want to do is cut a series of small slits in the hat around the bottom, about three quarters of an inch long, making these a little shallow, again, because we're using the 12 pack set of the 18, and you're going to bend them up to make a flap like that. I'm going to do it all the way around the side of the box. And what that's going to do is allow us to sandwich the top of the hat between the brim, get a nice secure hold on it. tabs out and if you need to adjust them as necessary you want that to be nice and level again so your hat has a nice fit and finish to it looks like you didn't snatch it off some hobo on the street Next couple steps, just going to walk you through real fast, and uh, maybe if you're lucky, we'll add in the finished product on the end. The next step is you're going to take your foam. So you get two pieces, two millimeter thick foam. You can do thicker if you want, but it's just going to make it a little tougher on you. Uh, you're going to need two pieces though. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your spray glue, prefer the 3M. Any spray glue will work though and you're going to cover the entire inside the bottom brim and then you're going to lay down your foam half on one side half on the other All right. spray that turn it over put some weight on it let it sit while that's working go on the other side you're going to spray foam on this side and you're going to take the hat this is going to be the top Your 12 
or 18, goes inside the top like this, spread it out inside the hole. So like this one, we have to adjust it just a little bit, it's not quite big enough. You're going to line up the tabs, spray the underside of the tabs, spray the outside of the box. Once you get it set, same thing, you're going to flip it over, let it dry. Now I would do this by itself, independent. Once this thing's dry, you get the actual uh, the top of the hat secured. Spray the inside of this one. Again, line it up with the holes you've got here. Match up the holes in the bottom with your foam. Again, let it dry. You're going to turn it over. All you've got to do in the set is trim the foam out. It'll be nice and even like this. And it'll give you a nice soft liner on the inside of your hat. Keeps the cardboard from rubbing off your face. Keeps the sweat out of the cardboard. And gives you a nice snug fit. Uh, from then, what you can do, you get your hat laid out, trim around the corners, trim up the sides, the edges nice and neat. And what I like to do is use this right here. Mod Podge, you can use uh, any real water-based glue, it's a sealer. What it does, it's going to seal up all the little cracks, the corners, make it a little firmer so it holds its shape. And if uh, you happen to spill your favorite beverage on your hat while you're out having a good time, no worries, not a problem. And it gives it a nice shiny luster. And uh, that's pretty much it for the Beer Box Cowboy Hat. So, good luck, don't forget your spray foam, a little super glue around the edge, and uh, two millimeter foam. Have a good luck. 24, 18.